Welcome to this short video on the multi-join command. The multi-join command allows you to do multiple joins on your model. Now, as you know, if you use a join command, it's kind of a tedious little process. So if you look at my model in here at the moment, you can see here I've got my floors are going through the walls. I've got these structural columns. They have the floor going through them. So I would really need to go through and clean up all of these which could be a pretty painful process. And to demonstrate this, if I just go ahead and select an item here, I'll come up here to join, and then I'm gonna select the floor first, and then I'm gonna select the wall, and as you can see there, I've cleaned that up, but now I need to go through here and here and all over. So I'm gonna escape out of this. We're gonna use the Kobe Toolkit uh, command multi-join. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my 3D view. I'm gonna select my model here. I'm going to come up to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon and I'm going to select multi-join. The multi-join dialog box comes up. It's split into two halves here. This first side, the left side, is the cutting edge. Okay, so always think about this being the cutting edge. The right side are what's going to be cut. So for instance, I'm going to say let's start out with the floors. I want the floors to cut all the walls. Okay, that's what I'm going to do here first. Two options down below, join only if geometry overlaps and override existing joins. I'm just going to click on join. I'm going to come back up to the multi-join command. This time I'm going to select my structural framing as the cutting edge and I want to cut all the floors and all the walls and I'm going to go join. Now I'm going to come back over here to my section view click in there and now you can see I've cleaned all of these up with that one command. So the first time I did it was using the floors cutting the walls and the next time I used the structural column cutting all the floors and also the walls. This concludes this short video on multi-join. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.